Okay, so we talked about in the last video how uh, once you've identified your market's ideal after. So remember, we had the before and after grid, everything that was on the after side. Once we've identified that, we've articulated the ideal after in all those four categories. Remember, have, feel, average day, and status. We can now craft this, which is a statement of value. Okay, A statement of value. And a statement of value is pretty simple. You simply say product name. So remember I said before, I wanted you to hold two thoughts in your head. What's your primary flagship product or service? Write that down in there. And then who is your customer? Write them in there. So soft, squishy tub 5000 enables unappreciated moms to experience or to have or just to whatever that ideal after is. Remember, so, and oftentimes it's a combination. So, um, so soft, squishy tub 5000 enables unappreciated moms to become super moms and, you know, and recapture the precious moments during, during bath time that would otherwise, you know, be lost to, to frustration and, and lack of control, something like that. Obviously, if you have more time to think about it, you could state something a little more eloquently than that. But even, even the landscaping example that we gave before, right? You know, ABC landscapers um, enable, you know, enable uh, tired dads to have a whole lot more Saturdays. Right, and that's a big part of it. You know, to 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 have lush, uh, green, weed-free lawns that are the envy of their neighbors, and finally get their Saturdays back again. Right, so that is the statement of value. That's the statement of value. So what I want you to do right now, as an action item, is I want you to craft one of these for your business, and ideally you craft one for each of your primary core flagship products or services. Go ahead and, and just take the time to do it. And if you're doing this for someone else, if you're, if you're doing this as a, as, a, as a consultant, I'll tell you, this is one of the greatest gifts that you can give a client, right? This is one of the absolute greatest gifts that you can give a client. Explaining, expressing, hey, look, this is how this product or service delivers value to this planet, right? That's a big deal. And, and when you have this, I would encourage you, read it. Read it until it brings a smile to your face. And if it doesn't, work on it until it does or get a new product. Get something that does bring a smile on your face, that does deliver a unique after, that you are really, really proud of. And then share it with all the stakeholders in your company. Share it with your investors. Share it with your employees. All right. Share it with your banker. Share it with everyone and explain to them that this is what we do. This is the work that we do. This is the value that we bring. This is why we deserve to win. I said at the beginning that customer value optimization, what we're talking about here is about helping those who deserve to win, win. How do we get those who actually deserve to win, to win? I want to make sure that you deserve to win. So fill this out and work on this until you look at it and say, yep, I deserve to win. We have a reason to exist in this market. We need to win because this is important. If we don't get this part right, if you don't have a good offer, if you don't have something that the market actually wants, then we're going to be swimming upstream, slapping lipstick on a pig. And I can tell you right now, it will not work. In fact, I don't want it to work. I don't want to help you optimize a turd. So let's make sure that what you have is something that is worth optimizing. I know I spent a lot of time. That was a whole, whole, whole lot of grandstanding. So I'm going to stop right now. Send you back over, craft your statement of value, and I'll see you in the next video.